So the reason we decided to look at this uh, studies is because we offer several different disintegrants here at JRS Pharma and we want to understand our products a little bit better to try to be, be able to make better recommendations for our customers. So we did some work here in uh, the Patterson, New York facility, myself and some colleagues there. We did some work at some of our other technical competency center over in Germany uh, under the direction of Dr. Sonia Bauhuber as well. And so we uh, looked at all of our disintegrants to try to understand them a little better for uh, customer recommendations. <laughs> So I think everybody learns in pharmaceutical school the basic textbook recommendations for our disintegration um, choices. And technically that is, if you have an insoluble t uh, tablet matrix, you would generally uh, select a swelling type super disintegrant. If you have a soluble uh, tablet matrix, you would select a wicking type super disintegrant. Or you could choose a super disintegrant such as cross povidone that has all three swelling, um, all three disintegration mechanisms, the swelling, the wicking, and the shape recovery. This is uh, very commonly known in the industry, but it's not always necessarily what we find to be a uh, fact. So in a compilation of all of our studies, we found several different things. We did uh, quite a few studies with insoluble tablet matrices, uh, primarily with MCC and DCP because those are are big products that are used in the industry. We looked at um, using a hydrophobic tablet matrix to um, mimic the hydrophobic APIs currently coming out on the market. And we found that actually the swelling type super disintegrant was not always the best example. We found that oftentimes that cross carmelos worked quite well and cross povidone uh, did not always work as well either. Uh, we looked at different um, studies, so we looked at different uh, pH in the disintegration uh, media. And we also looked at um, different densities of the tablet, different hydrophobicities. So we had uh, examined quite a few different examples. Mm -hmm.